Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. <clears throat> as part of the HDP CD Spark certification using Scala as programming language, let's get into Spark SQL. Here is the agenda. We will see the objectives of the certification, then problem statement, and then we will see um, the details about learning Spark SQL in detail and also um, developing some Spark SQL based applications using Scala as programming language. Objectives from the certification. Uh, so we should be able to create Spark data frames from an existing RDD. We have seen RDD in detail as part of the earlier module. And then we should know how to perform operations on a data frame, write a Spark SQL application, use high OAC, high with OAC from Spark SQL, and then write a Spark SQL application that reads and writes data from Hive tables. So depending upon the objectives, I have designed the agenda. If you look at the agenda, you don't see exact uh, verbiage as per the published curriculum uh, in the agenda, but you can easily relate uh, between the topics in agenda and the objectives. So the agenda is primarily designed as per the objectives of the certification. Here is the data model which we will be using to learn. Um, there are six tables and uh, data, the data model simulates a module of the e-commerce platform which is order management. We have transaction tables such as orders and order items, which have one to many relationship between orders and order items. And then we have product catalog represented in three tables, products, categories, and departments with relationship between them. And customer's data is stored in customer's table. So all the orders um, will make entry into orders table with its attributes such as order date, customer ID status, etc. And then, uh, order items table will have entry for each item that is placed in each order that's why there is a one to many relationship one order can have as many order items as we want um, when we try to check out here is the problem statement uh, it has multi multiple things to it and they are a bit related so we will start with uh, uh, so the problem statement says uh, to create orders and orders order items tables in hive database in text file format and load data into tables and then in ORC format and insert data into tables, the same tables, just to make sure that you understand different file formats, how you can actually get data into those different file formats. And again, the, uh, the problem statement is chosen based on the objectives of the certification. And then we have to get uh, um, some, uh, get a query to get daily revenue by product considering completed and closed orders and also we need to sort data by ascending order by date and then descending order by revenue computed for each product for each day and then uh, we have to uh, use hive database to store the final output uh, into a hive database called your user id underscore daily underscore revenue we will just create a new database and we'll try to uh, create uh, create a table and load or insert data into that table. Um, and, the, and the data will be the final processed data. Okay. And for the query um, to pro or for the data to be processed, we will fetch the data from the database, which is created as part of the first problem statement, which is uh, create orders and order items tables in Hive database. We'll use that for orders and order items tables. And for products, we will try to load data from local file system and then join with other two tables. That way you will understand how we can uh, use uh, data that is existing in Hive database and also the data which might not be in Hive database and still have to be joined with uh, other tables. And the final solution need to be stored under this location. Okay, so uh, that will conclude uh, our learning uh, process. And then there will be some exercises which you can uh, uh, try out to get more confidence that you understand the concepts clearly.